Well, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Hopefully, hopefully I've made it very clear in the last three or four uploads that I'm trying to start a series called Tinker Tuesday. But if it hasn't been clear, obviously I need to work on that. And of course it is Tinker Tuesday. So quick side note before we get started here, uh, Tinker Tuesday, the idea behind it is I've got a lot of bikes. I work on a lot of them. A lot of them are well known in the channel that they're almost characters themselves. And I find the funniest thing happens when, when you guys notice that there's something different about a bike that you typically know everything about. And you're like, when did that get that crank set on it? Or like, when did you route that internally? I don't understand. The last video it was in it, it wasn't there. You didn't show us what happened. And like the list is crazy long. I don't have it written down. I thought about writing it down, but Angela threw out all of our copy paper. And anyway, one of these days we will write it all down. But today, today we are dealing with this. This is the new olive and barb to get that brake hose routed internally. I may or may not have found this at a pro tent that we were hanging out at uh, in Ontario at Nationals. Maybe. It's all speculation. These aren't expensive, they're just annoying to go get. Now I've got a few different things kind of working against me for this little project. Um, first and foremost being I do not own the proper tools to be doing any sort of brake hose work whatsoever. Like, none at all. So this will very much be an exercise in doing something the wrong way as right as I can. So a couple concerns that I'm having is that the brake hose, I'm not exactly sure if it's the right length or not yet. I don't know if it's going to have enough length to actually reach where it needs to by being run internally because it is not going under the bottom bracket right now. Uh, it's not going through all the nuances of going through the frame. Uh, it does have a fair amount of slack up at the top. And this angle of entry is actually set for top tube routing, not down tube routing. So um, I'm kind of thinking that once this is moved and, and put to the appropriate spot and uh, we take a little bit of the slack out up top that that, that should compensate enough for it. Um, but I really won't know. I think it's going to be really, really close. Uh, I really only get like one chance to try. If it doesn't work, then, uh, then I throw my hands up. That's not the case. I'm trying to do this as a hack job here in the shop with it hopefully working at the end and not losing a lot of brake fluid because I don't have anything to bleed brakes with. So kind of the first thing I want to do is just try and get this angle of entry here at the caliper to at least be somewhat close. And because I'm gonna have to open some of this stuff up and anticipate some fluid coming out, I really don't want any rotors or brake pads in there at all, because contamination is bad. Now in a very feeble attempt to not lose as much hydraulic fluid as I can, I'm going to take the caliper off and I'm going to try and orientate it in a way that a bunch of the brake fluid doesn't fall out of the caliper and I lose the least amount possible from the brake hose itself. Very well knowing that, uh, that the efforts are worthless and I really am going to have to believe this anyway. I'm gonna lose this this is kind of what was keeping me from doing this before um, this needs to be cut off um, and you see that I have cable cutters normally you would use a set of hose cutters for this it's a nice big cartridge style tool where your hose kind of slides into it a really nice sharp blade slides across cuts the hose nice and flush 
uh, and ensures that when you put the barb into the end that you've got a nice flat area for it to sit on. Like I said, I don't have that tool. Um, so because this is already in here uh, and I wanna try and kinda do this tonight, um, I'm gonna do it the wrong way. But the sharpest cutting tool that I have in the shop right now is uh, is my cable cutters. Using these should be plenty sharp enough and offer enough leverage to just get through them as clean as possible. Again, the most right way to do this the wrong way. Yeah, that probably couldn't have gone worse. Try something a little sharper. Don't use these. For some reason I remember this working in the past, but don't use these. Use a use an exacto blade. Much better way of doing it. Okay. Now for literally the most annoying part of this entire stupid endeavor, uh, because I wanted to get this hose routed internally in this frame. And the reason that this is so annoying is because this bike was previously a complete, so it had everything routed internally at one point. The frame was sold off, all the parts were kept with it, and everything was just pulled out of where it was. So there is nothing inside here that will help with internal routing. In fact, it's just a big open void of nothingness. So it's one of those things that you kind of have to figure out on your own as you go. Thankfully, Specialized does a pretty good job with the down tube routing, especially with the open plate on the bottom. So it should just go all the way through and come out the bottom and then we'll have to deal with, with the chain stay, maybe with a, a brake cable run through so that we can actually pull it out through where it's supposed to be, uh, all without losing um, as much brake fluid as possible. Uh, that was sort of iffy there for a minute. I didn't, I didn't really think this was gonna work. Here, let me let me show you. So originally, I actually ran the rear brake line to the other side where the derailleur cable is in now. But as suspected, it did not give me the amount of slack that I need to get the steering from lock to lock. We'll call it. But as I sort of expected, this being an internally routed bike with the caliper at kind of a weird spot versus the externally routed with the caliper at not a weird spot on a different bike, uh, that the hose would probably be too short. And that was sort of confirmed with conventional routing, the way that this should be routed where the brake line is supposed to go. Everything worked and you could have rode it, but it's just that's more stress than I'm willing to put into a brake hose when you're trying to steer or get around like a cyclocross course. Now that's not to say that the current routing is perfect uh, because it's far from perfect, but it's good enough, especially for not having spent any money to do this. The solution was fairly simple. Just swap where the brake line is going in with where the shift cable was going in. And while this is still fairly short, it does allow enough slack and kind of movement without really impeding performance to move the handlebar to like a reasonable degree. 
Thankfully, in my infinite tinkering wisdom, I didn't tighten down the nut onto the olive so hard that I couldn't reuse it, which allowed me to retry this setup. Otherwise, besides having to get another olive and barb, uh, I would have had to cut off more hose, and, and I honestly don't actually have enough hose here to begin with, which would mean that I'd have to buy a hose sooner than I actually want to. Truth be told, this should be longer now. I should order a new one, but I made a temporary fix work. And as my dad has always said growing up, the most permanent fix is a temporary one. And I know what some of you are probably wondering, does the, does the system need to be bled? Yes. Um, after the second time taking it apart, it definitely needs to be bled. There still is plenty of brake power. However, the brake lever does pull in about twice as much towards the handlebar than it originally did. I mostly just didn't want to completely fail at this Tinker Tuesday. It's only like the fourth or fifth one, so I don't want the fails to start happening that soon. Anyway, that's that. That's the, the crux with everything routed internally the way it's supposed to, working somewhat properly and allowing me to turn the bars uh, a reasonable amount left to right. I'd rather it the way it is. I'm not picky.